Hi there! Today's video is all about creating a business flyer in Adobe InDesign. A simple business flyer that should take you only a few minutes to make, so let's learn how to do it. I'm going to create a new document in letter size, portrait, and I just need one page for the flyer, so let's just hit create. We're going to start with the ellipse frame tool and make a circle, so let's grab the ellipse frame tool as we'll insert an image for our flyer. I have the smart guides on, so center alignment is not really a problem at all. All right, next I need to place my image here, so let's go to File and then Place and locate the image from the computer. Now once the image is up, we can always move the image by clicking on the center of the image where you can find two small circles because if we click anywhere else and try to move the image, you can see it's the frame that's moving and not the image. So be careful about where you click before moving. Let me adjust the image a bit. I think I'll go with this setting. This looks fine. All right, next I need the heading. So let's grab the text tool and make a text box. So I'm thinking of the text to be half on the image and the rest outside. So let me type in the green corridor because I need to connect the heading somehow to the image I have here. Also, I need to increase the font size to about uh, 48. God, it's, it's too big. I, I don't want my text to wrap into two lines, so let's bring the font size down to about 30. Hmm, I think I can live with that. Let's also change the font to something that's condensed and not serif. Which one should I pick? Alright, I'll pick Acumen. Acumen condensed is good. All right, so with the condensed font, I believe we'll have to increase the font size a bit now. So let's increase it to about 60 points. Perfect. Let's add some outer glow to our heading so as to enhance the visibility as it's a thin font and uh, also sitting on top of an image. So let's right click on the text box and go to effects and then outer glow. Here I'll change the blending mode to multiply and also check the preview box and uh, change the blending color to black and I think I'll reduce the size to about 4 and hit OK. Headings done so it's time to grab the text tool again and make another text box uh, right under the heading and uh, what do we call that? We call that subheading. Since I don't have any text to fill in here, let's right click and fill it with some placeholder text. I'm going to change the font to my favorite font, Poppins. So let's change the font here to Poppins Medium. Alternatively, you can also do paragraph style here should you want to. We've already discussed all the styles in my earlier videos, so if you've missed them, do watch them after you're done with this video. Okay, heading checked, subheading checked, image checked as well. So now we're left with some text for the flyer. So using the text tool, make a text box below the image. And since we don't have any text of our own, let's right click and fill it with the placeholder text. It makes the paragraph look so tight. So I'm going to delete some text from here and divide my text into at least two paragraphs for a more presentable look. And uh, then I'm going to change the font to Arial. Okay, now I want to add a background to the flyer. So let's grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle covering the entire document. And uh, I'll change the fill color to black and uh, also reduce the opacity down to something less than 20. All right, and now select the rectangle and then right click and go to arrange and uh, send to back. Great. I like how the color of the image is complementing our background color now. One last thing to do is to add bevel to our image just to enhance the overall look a bit. This is optional though, but stick around to see how to add it. Very simple process though. Just right click on the image and go to effects and then bevel and emboss. 
Now from the style option, I'm going to change it to outer bevel. Ensure that the preview button is checked. I'd like to just change the angle so that I have the shadow on the right and also reduce the size to about 3. It's like a 0p3. And uh, hit OK. And there you go, the business flyer is ready to be printed. Alright guys, so that concludes our session. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope there was at least something that you've learned from this video. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel until we meet again on Wednesday with something exciting like always. Goodbye and thanks for watching.